Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to round 7 of Candidates Tournament 2020 and today I would like to show you this gentleman. So we have Jan Nipomniashi from Russia and he's ranking 2774, that means he's number 5 in the world according to the Fidelist. He's 29 years old and he play as black. And his opponent today, Maxime Vachiel Lagraf from France, uh, he play as a replacement because Timur Rajabov didn't want to play the, in this tournament because of the coronavirus problems around the world. Uh, so Maxime uh, is from France. Uh, he's ranking 2767 and he is number 8. He is also 29 years old and today he gonna play as white. And I would like to show you the standings after round 6. So two leaders. Jan Nepomniashi 4.5 points and Maxime Vachiel Lagraf 3.5 points. So very important game and uh, this is why I would like to show you. So without further ado, uh, let's jump onto the board. We have e4, e6, so uh, Jan Nepomniashi goes again for the French defense. Usually he play, um, you know, c5, Sicilian defense and then Nydorf and he is known about that. So very strange uh, that he don't play it, definitely part of his preparation uh, for the candidates, but uh, so far he make, you know, the most of the points, uh, but he didn't make the points in Vinaver French yet. I mean, he, he draw um, with Alexeyenko so far. Uh, we have d4, d5, knight c3, bishop b4, Vinaver variation, e5, and now c5. a3, kicking the bishop, uh, bishop of course don't want to be kicked, so so uh, bishop takes on c3, b takes on c3 and knight e7. Uh, and now inviting uh, queen g4, but nowadays after you know alpha 0 analyze a lot of positions, the most popular line is h4 uh, and for a couple of years this line is the most popular. Queen c7 and now uh, c takes on d4 uh, is, the, is the issue here. Uh, however, white play h5 and now if c takes on d4, c takes d4 uh, and queen c3 forking uh, the king and the rook, then we have bishop on d2, so a rook is defended, queen d4, knight f3, queen e4, bishop e2 and the game can be continued from here but uh, I'm not sure how many players would like to have the queen in the center and white is already developed so uh, it's playable but uh, players on the top level definitely don't go for this variation this is why we have h6 so stopping the, this h6 move by white that would be very very unpleasant because black would have to play something like g6 and then dark square would be very very uh, weakened and uh, white still have a dark square bishop and black don't have it anymore so um, that's the point and here uh, knight f3 is the most popular move uh, bishop on d2 defending this c3 this is popular so far however Peter Leko invented rook on b1. So, and this is played uh, in the last years uh, sometimes. And uh, what's the idea? Queen c3 now with check don't come with the, with the double attack. So actually we can say that this move rook on b1 is preparation for queen on g4. Uh, we have b6 now, black want to bring the bishop to the game to a6 and exchange the uh, light square bishops. We have queen on g4 as planned and now black has to do something about this attack on a g7. So if they just play c takes on d4, queen on g7, rook g8, of course uh, you can take this because then a uh, queen would hang and the rook would hang and that would be losing. So rook g8 first, queen h6 and now if queen comes to c3 then queen can retreat on d2 and everything is fine and white have this advantage of the passed pawn, a very very dangerous passed pawn and if queen on e5 with check then knight e2 
D takes on C3 and the game can continue from, from here. So white don't have this E5 but have this passed pawn. Uh, very sharp variation, that would be very very sharp. Uh, however, uh, that's not what black want to play, uh, if they play French, of course. So, uh, king f8, uh, not really greatest, because uh, rook h3, uh, this was played last year, and uh, it's very dangerous for black, actually. So, after bishop on a6, very natural, rook f3, not rook g3, rook f3, and here is the problem. E6 is attacked uh, because the pawn is pinned here. So uh, knight f5, queen g4, now g4 is coming and it's very, very unpleasant for black to play this position. Uh, this is why rook on g8 have to be played here. Um, I mean, it's the, it's the best move in the position. And now bishop b5 with check. Uh, this idea is to just misplace the black pieces. So uh, if the knight go uh, on d7, then bishop a6 idea is uh, no longer possible and if bishop on d7 the bishop's gonna be misplaced and also it, it will be impossible to uh, to exchange it so uh, bishop on d3 king f8 and now uh, queen f4 and g4 is coming and also uh, black have to be careful because uh, bishop on h7 is possible also very unpleasant position so black have to play something else this is why we have king on f8 uh, and now bishop did his job and then have to go back so bishop on d3 and this actually gives uh, black the time to play bishop on a6 so now black can exchange this very important bishop this bishop is placed just uh, perfectly on this diagonal because it support f4 f5 and uh, that's the main idea for white so if the bishop can be exchanged that is very very good for black uh, and here we have d takes on c5 so maxime fascia lagraf and don't care about his pawns and also uh, he leave the pawn on e5 uh, undefended so let's see what would happen if we have b takes on c5 by nepo uh, then for example knight on f3 and here nepo would have to decide what to do one of the most interesting ideas is c4 locking these two pawns here and white would have the problem with uh, playing on the queen side so uh, for example bishop on e2 and now knight b on c6 queen f4 because the pawn was attacked twice so i have to defend but now queen a5 with attack on c3 bishop on d2 queen a4 another a uh, weak point and uh, white would have the problems here so that's quite interesting idea for black and another idea is queen on e5 with check so uh, eliminating this very annoying pawn in french defense uh, knight e2 uh, blocking and also defending c3 and then bishop d3 c takes on d3 knight on d7 uh, c takes on b6 a takes on b6 and the game uh, for example queen b4 in this variation actually white would stand quite okay uh, with the queen side and uh, the king side is also quite safe however without uh, this e5 the the character of the position is totally changed so uh, this is why we have bishop on d3 by nepo c takes on d3 and now knight c on d7 so nepo don't worry about uh, c takes on b6 that would be disaster because queen on c3 with check uh, bishop on d2 and now queen on d3 attacking the rook so rook have to move c1 a takes on b6 and actually black uh, get one extra pawn instead of white so grabbing that pawn uh, not winning anything this is why we have d4 b takes on c5 and very important a very strong move by maxim vasil lagraf very logical move queen on d1 and let's see what would happen if he play very natural knight on e2 preparing f4 and castling okay this is very very natural so rook on b8 
of course it has to be exchanged because uh, otherwise white gonna lose the the open file so rook on b8 queen on b8 and now castle and the problem is now c4 and the position is very unpleasant for white uh, and it's not easy to play because now black gonna you know take b3 and put a lot of pressure here so uh, and also have a lot of time to to bring the king to the game and white have to be very creative what to play uh, one of the ways would be a rook on d1 with this idea of bringing the rook this way but it's not easy to find the idea like that for example queen on b3 rook on d2 and the rook is coming and uh, can can infiltrate the black territory so that could be you know the option however queen on d1 solve all that problems because now the queen controls all of this square so uh, not easy for black again we have queen on a5 attacking c3 bishop on d2 defending and now rook on b8 and here knight on e2 uh, and here is the very critical moment of the game where for some reason Nepo play c4 uh, I mean I, I can try to understand why he played that because he want to play against this pawn uh, it's, it's the you know end of the chain uh, so he definitely gonna win b3 but it's very difficult to play against this pawn because it, it can be very easy defended actually even even a rook can come to defend if needed so uh, not really the greatest idea here and uh, Nepo don't have much experience uh, in the French defense so maybe he don't uh, fill the position you know to the end in some variations this c4 is is, is very okay but in this um, not really what he should play in this position is rook on b1 and then after queen on b1 queen a6 this would be very nice move because now white can't just castle because uh, the the knight is hanging so white would have to solve the problems on the king side and uh, for example f3 uh, but then black have time to to react uh, so uh, knight c3 uh, knight e7 and then move the rook the problem is queen actually can jump into h7 uh, and that would be disaster after after the the knight moves so c6 so something has to be done about that rook h8 for example king f2 and only now knight on c6 uh, g4 very natural king e7 now g5 rook b8 and this is the position where Nepov would feel very very comfortable and if white plays something like queen on h7 which looks very very annoying then black actually have rook on b2 as a counterplay uh, attacking the bishop if bishop is moved um, then actually this would be very very annoying uh, very very dangerous so uh, white have to be very careful uh, here however as i said c4 was played by nepo and this changed the game completely as black don't have much counterplay now uh, so let's see what happened uh, white simply castle there are no issues here just castle and then play f4 g4 f5 g5 whatever very standard attack here so we have rook on b6 by nepo if queen on a3 actually not really greatest move because rook a1 uh, and then black can't go to b2 because rook a7 now king e8 defending the knight but now bishop c1 attacking the queen so uh, queen b1 bishop e3 exchanging the queens uh, and now white have very nice uh, placed pieces uh, for example a bishop can go on d6 very active uh, rook can join uh, that would be disaster for black so definitely not queen on b3 slightly better but still not good rook a7 and this pawn is lost uh, queen d1 rook d1 king e8 and now rook d on a1 and black can't play anything like you know uh, knight on c6 because rook c7 so knight on c8 rook a2 and this is still very nice for black 
this bishop gonna be very powerful here and not much can be done and this knight on c8 for now uh, defending but it's also you know uh, make the development of black pieces difficult so definitely uh, taking this pawn would be very painful uh, this is why we have rook on b6 by nepo queen on c2 now uh that's some idea maybe not for now but as you know already this is some idea very dangerous so nepo didn't want to wait he just play rook on h8 uh, preventing that move uh, and here we have a4 by maxim so uh, taking this pawn is no longer available uh, king on e8 so now uh, trying to you know uh, solve all the issues here uh, bring the king back and then move the rook outside and then continue the game and here we have rook on b4 so white's gonna double the rooks and it's actually invitation uh, for black to play knight on c6 with attack on the rook which nepo actually played and here maxim vachel lagrave just play f4 so he don't care about this rook, uh, this exchange. And the reason why he don't care is because if the rook is taken, actually, then c takes on b4. Uh, if black want to take the, take the pawn on b4, then actually queen c3 winning the material, so winning the, uh, the piece. So it's unplayable. Queen e6 is the only move. b5, queen b7, and now white can play whatever bishop b4 is very very strong uh bishop e5 winning back the the exchange is also possible f5 very powerful move as well so this is why nepo didn't go for this uh, for this rook he played knight on e7 again uh preventing now uh, the move f5 so we have rook f on b1 we have f5 because now uh, f5 is coming so f5 this is what played and now maxim vachel lagrave didn't go for e takes on f6 which probably would be the best in the position but he has his own plan and he play rook on b5 attacking the queen uh queen have to be moved so uh queen a6 and now bishop on c1 and this is so powerful move now the plan is to move the bishop on a3 eliminate the defender of f5 and once this done then play g4 with attack on uh, f5 and if the pawn is taken then queen can jump into uh, g6 and that's gonna be crashing so that is the idea here so we have a uh, king on f7 by nepo however he could try here to play g6 uh, this was his last chance to save that game g6 and after h takes on g6 rook g8 king f2 rook g6 and now uh, rook b6 knight b6 uh, bishop a3 as planned knight e on c8 uh, avoiding that knight g3 and for example queen a4 now is uh, possible to take of course white would not want to exchange because this knight uh, would put the pressure to c3 uh, not really comfortable so queen c1 would have to be played defending the bishop and yeah that was the idea for nepo so probably g6 was his last chance however he played king on f7 and now uh maxim vachel lagrave just execute his plan so a uh, bishop a3 rook h on b8 uh, so okay now this rook can play uh definitely uh jan nepomniasi should be happy about that but uh, it's not enough it's not enough it's actually too late because bishop on e7 uh, king on e7 and now g4 f takes on g4 as i said that would be a disaster so uh, impossible to play this is why we have rook on b5 we have a takes on b5 and now rook on b5 and here g takes on f5 we have rook on b1 queen on b1 and now black has to do something about that because you know attack on the e6 is coming anyway so uh, e takes on f5 and black have this very terrible weaknesses so 
the best what black could do is move the knight to e7 and try to somehow you know defend that that would be very passive but this knight is totally misplaced on d7 and it's you know difficult to place it correctly uh, we have knight on g3 uh, and here probably it's not the last chance it's also it's also losing for black but it would be quite tricky g6 defending this f5 uh, and now if the pawn is taken queen can get on g6 and get some counterplay here maybe but uh, also not not very clear king f2 uh, black have to wait so queen e6 and now h takes on g6 queen takes on g6 uh, and if queen on f5 now that would be very very nice for Nepo he could even draw this game so for example queen on f5 knight f5 with check king f7 and now these two pass pawn are very dangerous so uh, knight on h6 with check king g6 knight g4 and now a5 marching uh, white can be of course on time so knight on e3 a4 uh, knight on d5, knight on b6 now with some ideas, you know, like pulling this this knight. Uh, but then e6, king f6, d5, and of course knight d5 now doesn't work because knight d5, knight d5 with check, king e6, and now everything is fine. So uh, not working at this point. Rather knight on a4. Uh, and then king on e3, knight on c3 now, uh, king d4, moving the king to this uh, dangerous past pawns, knight e2, and after um, king c4, knight f4, knight a2, and now simply knight e6, and that would be just a draw. So that line is interesting, however, uh, Maxime Vachel Lagrave would not go for the queen on f5 definitely if, if it's only a draw. He could play uh, queen on b7, attacking this weakness on d5, attacking this weakness and uh, black would have to go back. So a uh, queen e6, queen a7. Now h5 is possible, uh, of course white can take because queen h6 with attack on the knight and on f5, f4. Uh, so knight f1 and black has nothing to play here if they want to release the knight so for example king on d8 then queen a8 with check a uh, king e7 and uh, not easy to play this is the weakness so the queen always treat to to take it and it's very difficult to to get any counterplay here uh this is why we have queen on b6, but it doesn't help. Knight on f5 with check, king f8. And of course, don't exchange the, the queens. That would be an only draw because this knight actually would have enough counterplay, uh, you know, and this passed pawn would be very dangerous. So uh, definitely not an option. This is why queen on a1 was played by Maxime Vachel Lagrave. We have queen on e6 attacking the knight now, uh, knight g3. Queen g4 following the knight and now king on g2 uh, so black can grab one dangerous pawn but white also can uh, eliminate this dangerous uh, guy on a7 so uh, grab that pawn we have king on e7 defending um, the knight and now queen on a3 with check and the idea of jumping to d6 and eliminate d5 uh, we have king on d8, any other move it would not prevent that, but d8 is maybe even the worst. Uh, because queen on d6 and now e6 is coming. Uh, and, and the game is just done. Uh, what Nepo try is g5, but we have n passau and the game is over. Uh, h5 uh, threatening something like h4 and getting the knight, but it's just too slow g7 and now in the next move i'm uh, gonna promote to the queen and this is you know just too late so in this position Yanni Pomniashi resigned the game so uh queen on d2 uh, that's all black can do so one check 
King H3 very safe spot and if black want to prevent um, the promotion so Queen G5 then E6 is coming so can do both uh, Queen G7 and now uh, the easiest way to win is just exchange the, the Queens and win this way so with extra piece of course is winning for white so this is why in this position Yanni Pomniashi resigned the game congratulations now we have the standings after round seven Maxim Vashir Lagra four and a half points Yanni Pomniashi four and a half points and then we have Wang Hao Fabiano Caruana Alexander Grishuk and Anish Giri three and a half points Ding Liren Kirill Alexeyenko uh, only two points I think if after uh, if before the tournament somebody would say to Kirill that hey after round seven you will have the same amount of points like Ding Liren he would say wow really okay I go for that but as you see Ding Liren not really a great performance in this tournament okay that's all for today if you like this video press like if you don't like this video for some reason press and like uh, leave the comment and as always in leeches i leave the study of this game for you with these lines which i explored so link in the descriptions and if you don't want to uh, miss the other games from the tournament press subscribe smash the bell button and thanks for watching and see you in the next one